today's video, I'm going to be talking about some black hair care brands that I've used on my hair. I'll share some additional details about my experience with them. Hello everyone, my name is Laura. Welcome to this channel over here. You can expect to see me document my lock journey. I've been locked for a little bit over two years. I have a total of approximately 152 locks. I self started my lock journey with two strand twists and what else? I have 4C hair. If you're interested in content related to growing locks and also small business, I recently started a small business, then you are in the right place. To make sure that more people who are interested in this kind of content get to access it, give this video a thumbs up anytime you come across something that resonates with you or something that you find to be helpful throughout the video. So let's get started. So last year I purchased a large amount of products that I wanted to try on my hair and I actually began the year as a buy black hair. What this means is I wanted to buy products only from black owners. I wanted this to be with hair care. I was also trying to do this with everything else that I use, but I found this to be extremely difficult because if you're looking for household items, it tends to be a little bit challenging. Now, if you're locked, you know, once you first get your locks, you go into the store and you look for product to put in your hair and it can be a little bit confusing to try and figure out what you need for your hair. So I'm newly locked and I'm like, what am I going to use? What should I be using? And I remember, I don't have footage of this, but I did take a video of the Isle of Hair Care products. And this is the black hair care products that are marketed to black women, or I guess I should say women of color. And I didn't see too many items that were specifically for locks. And after looking at that for a while, I was a little bit bothered by it because I felt like I knew of a lot of people who had locks and I felt like locks have been very, very present in the natural hair care community. But this was a wake up call for me and two different things. One, lack of representation in um, the natural hair community for those who are locked or prefer to wear their hair in a different way rather than the loose natural hair. And then number two, the fact that what was I going to do with my hair? What products? was I going to use? So I'm just going to take you through the different products. I'll talk through what I was hoping to achieve with them. And hopefully you'll try some of these out or it'll just be more information for what's out there for you. So let's dive into the video. So the first product that I want to talk about is the Talia Wajid Protective Styles Bamboo and Biotin Edge Growth. So when I first started this journey, I wanted something to contain my edges. I was very brand new to the lock world i didn't know what build up was i didn't understand how locked works but one thing that stood out to me was this said it's for protective styles there are three words that were key for me strengthens conditions and repairs as most of us we want to grow back our edges we want our edges to be full so i was like oh my goodness it's a two in one so i can go ahead and use an edge control but it's also doing something to my hair i felt like because it says strengthens and conditions it wouldn't be too cakey on my hair it also wouldn't leave like a layer on top of my hair when i did try it because my hair texture clings on to different things i did find that i had a little bit of residue but not as much as your over the counter or um, your regular edge controls that you would use so i want to show you what this texture looks like it's much like your typical edge control if you can see it over here it's a thicker formula similar to edge control but i think it's not as waxy as you typical edge control is. So um, it is lighter if your hair is, I guess, 4C, but I can't speak for every 4C person. It might hold yours, but this, it did condition, but it didn't give me that extreme hold that you would get from, what are the edge controls that are on the market right now? Um, what's the big one that people do? Is it 24 hour hold or I don't even know. It's been a while since I've used edge control. So this is a great solution for somebody who maybe your hair texture might be a little bit looser or you just might want a light hold. Now, as I mentioned, my hair clings on to build up a little bit more than most people. I have smaller locks. I don't know if this is a reason why, if that my 
affect it but i found this edge control to be pretty good compared to most of the edge controls i've used these products it's been a year now so i feel pretty comfortable about talking about them because it has been a while now lately i will be very transparent i haven't used this on my edges only because i don't see a need to i like my hair to be natural i like it to be loose i like i don't care too much about my hair being slicked down but i thought maybe if i have a formal event to go to if i feel like it i'll use it but most likely i probably won't the next product that i want to share is from the same line the talia wajid and it's the stimulating herbal cleanser now this product i got it because i was looking for something to wash my hair with it didn't take long for me to realize that your regular shampoos let me speak for me because i can't speak for everyone regular shampoos were not effective in getting all the product out of my hair in the beginning of my lock journey i was using product to retwist but then shortly after that i switched to interlocking but also after a while your hair just accumulates dirt and who knows what from everywhere so i felt like i needed something to effectively clean my hair what stood out to me was the herbal cleanser over here that it says and then it said it's a clarifying shampoo deeply cleanses hair and scalp thoroughly removes buildup this is the first time i saw a product that did all three but i, no I rem noticed i said um clarifying shampoo i'm gonna correct that in a little bit and i'll explain to you why so i use this product and after using it i noticed that i needed to use it twice it did get my hair clean but i was like why am i using it twice well after reading the label again it says that it's a clarifying pre-shampoo which i was like ah oh. so i had to go back in with another shampoo, with my regular shampoo, and then my hair would probably have been completely clean. For the most part, my hair was clean, but I had more product than usual that I needed to get out. This is a time when I got my hair done in the salon and they use product in it, so I needed to get that extra product out. Now, if you're interested in the consistency of this, I'm just gonna move it around just so you can see it move, hopefully. It's a lighter formula. So it's almost like, you know, when you use those co-washes on your hair, it's a very light formula. It's not as thick as shampoo. It does have a very strong herbal smell. So if that's your jam, you will like this. I honestly love things that have these strong scents. Herbal scents are great to me. I, I love just that feeling of tingling on my scalp even though i do want to give a side note that that's not always an indicator that whatever you're using is working just like suds are not an indicator that whatever you're using is actually cleaning your hair now if i take a look at the ingredients i didn't look at the ingredients of the edge control because just knowing the ingredients that are used to formulate edge control i already know that they're probably going to be preservatives additives just because of the nature of what edge control is now with this particular ingredient i'm just going to talk about what the first ingredient is which i would recommend that if you're looking at products and if you are learning how to read the ingredients to take a look at that first ingredient and it's water so we see sodium c 14 16 and it has quite a bit of other ingredients i see a fragrance i also see a preservative over here if you want something that's clean this might not be the shampoo for you if you don't care or pre-shampoo for you if you don't care this is the sham pre-shampoo that you want to use another thing that i want to note about this is if you just want to wash your hair in one go this might not work for you if your hair is a little bit on the dirtier side if you don't mind a two-step hair wash process which i would recommend washing your hair two times if you could because you want to get your hair extra clean then you might want to try something else you're probably going to raise an eyebrow when i lift this up but i'm going to explain to you how i came about this so next product that i want to highlight is the melanin and this is the multi-use softening leave-in conditioner i wish i had this when i was a loose natural because this would have helped this works for 4c hair if i'm to show you the consistency of it 
It is a thicker formula, so much like a cream. So I ended up using this particular product because I was doing my sister's hair and she had this over at her house and she's like, use this, this is the truth, it works. She also has 4C hair and I used it and I was like, oh my goodness, your hair is absorbing this and it's actually working like a leave-in conditioner. You know those leave-in conditioners that we put in our hair and it just kind of sits at the top of our hair and it creates like a, a cast, a white cast, and it has this like weird feeling. This did not, this absorbed, and this actually made the hair feel softer. Now, when I wanted to lay my edges, I didn't want to use edge control at some point. So I took some of this and I placed it on just my edges and I slept with the headscarf at night. And then the next morning, my hair laid flat. It wasn't your edge control, like slick look, but my hair was flat and it felt like, put down in a way that I wanted it to. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know if I would recommend this for locks, but for loose naturals, 100% go ahead and try this out. I feel like this is the truth. My husband currently uses this on his hair. So that's gotta tell you something, but this just might be too thick for locks. And I'll tell you why especially if you have smaller locks, but I ended up having some build up along the perimeter of my hair because my locks are small and they cling on to anything and everything. So this is an, in an every once in a while, I will use this. My husband mainly uses it, but I have it around just in case I need to use it. The next product is LK Naturals Naturally Unique Lock Oil. I got two of these products. I got, there's a hot oil treatment that I got, and I also got the lock oil. I love, love, love LK Naturals. Just her journey on YouTube is inspiring, and I feel like she understands the natural hair experience. I just, I love it. So this is an oil that clearly, as you can see over here, I didn't end up using too much of it. I found that it was a little bit heavier for my locks, but this might work for you. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the ingredients. The first ingredient is hemp seed oil. Then there's vitamin E oil, eucalyptus, rosemary, rosehip, lang lang. So there are quite a few different oils in here. Now, not all oils are created equal. I personally use oils in my hair, but this was a little bit too heavy for my hair. Although I feel like when it's really cold outside, I will use this. What I ended up doing is I, so there's a hot oil treatment one. I would mix that and this in a hot oil treatment and I would put it in my hair and then I would rinse it off. And because it was so thick, it worked well. Your hair might be able to handle it. And of course, if your hair is in a protective style, this might end up working well for you. But let me tell you what I love about this brand. She has products that are tailored to locked people. So as you can see over here, it says it's for locks and for kinky hair. This is one of the few products lines that I've seen at Target that specifically are for locks. I say one of the few because I know there are a few other ones. So I would recommend you try and give this a try. I just, I experiment with oils quite a bit. I'm pretty familiar with the kind of oils that my hair takes and the ones that it doesn't do so well with. This was pretty thick for my hair, but I'm pretty sure there are some things that I can do with this. Maybe I might drop it in something, a few drops in something else that I'm using so I can continue to use it. Similar with the hot oil treatment, what I love about the hot oil treatment, number one, it comes in this um, in this size. I don't have it anymore because it's done. So eight fluid ounces for a hot oil treatment is pretty, it's a lot. You can use it probably three or four times, depending on if you just wanna focus on your scalp or your hair. So it's like a hot oil treatment in a bottle. You don't have to worry about mixing different oils or putting different things together. Next, the brand that I wanna talk about is the Oki Naturals Lock Oak Strong Oil. So this particular oil, I came to learn about it through a founder who's on Instagram and is also an artist. She started her lock journey, I believe, right when she started her music career, if I'm not wrong. She also offers lock jewelry. What's unique about the lock jewelry that she offers is she tailors to different sizes. So if your locks are the smaller locks, it's, if they're a little bit smaller than traditional locks, she has 
lock jewelry for you. What I liked about the lock jewelry also is as somebody who is not big on jewelry in my hair, she had some minimal designs that I felt like I could wear in my locks and still feel like me. So they were like dainty little pieces that I could just like place at different sections of my hair. Now you can check her out. I will leave the link below. So I have the old formula and the new formula. She removed the shea butter from the new formula. This is a 100% plant-based oil. So inside some of the ingredients are jojoba oil, black seed oil, rosemary. And it looks like we have some essential oils as well. Um, this oil comes in a dropper. You just drop it into your hair. I wonder if there's a difference in consistency between the old formula and the new formula. Let's see. Oh, okay. So this one that has a shea butter, you can definitely tell. So I would assume that this one would be thicker. You know, now that I think about it as I used this, I don't believe that I had any buildup with the shea butter. I used these actually in a hot oil treatment. Um, this one's basically done. And then I have some of this one left. One's a sweet and spicy scent and one is a lemon scent. The last product that I want to highlight is my brand, Faida Naturals. It feels really weird to talk about your own brand because I feel like amongst these brands, I'm going to be biased, of course, because this is my brand. However, I've tried not to show any favoritism. This brand formed as a result of my frustration with not finding what I wanted for my locks. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the aloe and avocado oil. This helps with growth. This helps with moisture. It's a light formula has a great fragrance, absorbs into the hair. I'm gonna show you its consistency, is that? Okay, let me show you the other products and then I'm gonna explain to you. Keeps your hair moisturized and supports hair growth. Rose water mist for everyday moisture. Um, something that I can lightly spray on my hair because I don't want to put oil in my hair every day. I don't think my hair needs it that much. Last but not least, an apple cider vinegar clarifying shampoo just to make sure that my hair is clean. To show you the effectiveness of this line, it focuses on length retention. Let me just say that as well. How you ask is because when your hair is moisturized, then you're not breaking strands. When your hair is fully clean, then it allows whatever product you're putting in your hair to actually absorb into the strands. I've mentioned this plenty of times in other videos. You've made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below some products that you found that have been really helpful throughout your lock journey and products that you feel that other locked kings and queens should try again. So I'm gonna close the video out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.